I wanted to briefly show how I'm using screen for debug sessions. And that was a little bit motivated because Mario um, showed that he wrote this MCP server that can manage processes behind the scenes. And for what it's worth, I think it's a good use of MCP. Um, but I also kind of wanted to just show how much Claude can do out of the box um, if you just give it the right tools. Um, so I have a program here which sec faults, and it's it's a program that Claude wrote where I made afterwards a bug into it. Um, I, I added an off by one somewhere. And really the only thing that I have here is I added into my Claude MD file that when debugging use LLDB in a well-known screen, it should call the screen like this. And when it's done debugging, it should close the screen again. And then to send strings into the program, it should use the dollar string syntax. Um, that is kind of, I think, the main thing that it needs to be successful. Um, anyways, that's the idea. So what I first want to do is I wanted to tell it to run the program. So in this folder, we have a program which uh, sec faults when you run it, uh, you can run it with make run. Uh, please reproduce the crash. And I'm not sure what's going on. I think I might have turned on something here. I'm not sure why it took so long. Oh, right, because it's the first time I ran it. Okay, so um, let's do that. And then it should basically just run this program and see a sec fault. Uh, cool. So, so far, so good. Now I want you to debug this with LLDB. And afterwards, I want you to fix the bug and run it again. Okay. So um, if you're not familiar with what Screen is, it's a, it's a new program. Uh, there's another one called Tmux. Um, but I think screen might be installed on all machines. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, I, I just happened to use screen. I think it might also have a little bit more of, um, of uh, training data for screen. So I will just attach to the screen here just to watch it uh, so we can see what it's doing. So it has already um, started screen here. Um, now I tried to run, uh, I had to run run straight away, but it didn't actually start LLDB. Um, so uh, it terminated my screen. Well, that's not good. Um, so now I have a new one. Uh, let's reconnect. Okay, so now we have a screen that just runs LLDB. Seemingly that's what it wanted to do. And it has created uh, the target, which means it's going to run this program. <laughs> but it didn't, <laughs> didn't actually run it. Um, it's eventually going to figure out uh, how it's going to run it. Uh, so in this case, it needs my password. Uh, Cause I haven't done this yet. I don't know. Um, okay, but we have reached the point where um, it is now um, looking at the back trace. Um, no variables here, seemingly. We might actually have compiled this without debug. Um, so afterwards, I will, I will compile it with a debug flag. I think it will make it a little bit more useful. Um, but it has identified the bug. Um, now it's going to recompile it. Um, and run make, it worked um, and it's done. And now it's going to kill the screen. So this is just to show um, it can do that, right? And I, I, in general, I think like it's, it's just kind of fun to, um, to give it access to these tools, which are where it has a lot of training data on. I think it has learned a ton about screen over the years that it's able to remote control a program like this. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically all I wanted to show, which is um, it can run screen 
um, to remote control text debugger and can do quite well. 